In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enqueue a style sheet in your functions.php file and enqueue it properly so it complies with WordPress development standards. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, Come back to this tutorial. Let's get started. To add CSS files to the header of your WordPress site via the functions file, the first thing we're gonna do is head over to the blog. We're gonna copy this script right here. A link to this page is in the description down below. It's gonna copy all of this, and this is gonna go into our functions file. So let's head over into our functions file, go to file manager and public HTML, underscore HTML, WP content, themes, I'm using this child theme right here. And this is our functions file. Now, if you don't have a child theme yet, I highly recommend you make one. There's a tutorial that has popped up in the top right in that card. Click on that to learn how to make a child theme. Very important because you can always go back to the parent theme if you end up breaking your child theme and start over again. And any changes you make in your child theme to enhance the parent are not overwritten when the parent theme is updated. Two big benefits of a child theme. I encourage you to make one. Check out that tutorial. Now that we're here with this functions file in our child theme, we want to duplicate this file and have a backup just in case something goes wrong because the functions file is very dangerous. Comma or a period or a quote in the wrong place will bring down your website. If you don't know where to go to fix it, it might be a while before you do fix it. So it's better to have a backup. It's going to highlight the functions file and click on copy and then type in functions backup.php. Now we have a backup. If something goes wrong, we can delete the functions file we're working on, rename the backup file to just functions.php, and our site will be back online. It's great to have backups. So let's go to the live one, which is just functions.php, highlight it, click on edit. Inside the editor, we're just gonna paste in that code we got from the site, right here. Now what we have to do is change a couple things. First, this is a descriptive handle for you, which describes what the thing is that you're adding to the header of the file. And this is the path to the CSS file. Now, this could be a file on your site, or it could be a path to a file on a site somewhere else, for example, a CDN. So if we just head out and look up, for example, CSS animation CDN, this will pull up animate.css which is used to animate things in the CSS3. And this is a CDN, meaning it's a content delivery network. This is hosted elsewhere, in this case at cdnjs.com, where they maintain the script and it's loaded from their site instead of from your site, which quite often helps your site load more quickly. That's why we use CDNs. So I'm just gonna copy this, I'm gonna go back into our functions file, paste it in right here. I'm going to rename my handle here to animate CSS. And again, this could be whatever you like, nothing particular there. Before I save that, I'm going to head out to the site and just confirm that we don't have this already on the site for one and for two, just to show you that this works. So the file name that we're including is animate.min.css. Let's search for that. There's zero occurrences of that file. So let's save changes, head out here, refresh the source, and now we should have one occurrence, and we do. We have one occurrence right there. And that is how we add CSS files to our header using the enqueue function in the functions file. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep brute force hackers out for good. And after that, 
click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.